in Bethel. Um, we're going to go on a little journey from slavery to freedom, uh, from spiritual degradation to spiritual elevation together this evening. And on the way, we'll eat some ritual foods and drink some ritual wine or grape juice. We are here, we are together, we are one. We've come together this evening for many reasons. We're here because spring is all around, the earth is reborn. We're here because we are members of the Jewish people. We're here to remember the timeless story of the liberation of the ancient Hebrews from slavery in Egypt, a great struggle for freedom and dignity. We're here because the struggle for human freedom never stops. We're here to remember all people who are still struggling for their freedom. In marching toward freedom long ago, we had to unite as a people. Tonight, we come together as one congregation despite our social distance practice. Tonight, we reaffirm that our community can survive anything as long as we are there for each other. We are here, we are together, we are one. Candle lighting. I do not know if anyone has some candles over there. We don't light fire in my house. Um, and my plug it in candles, there's no other place to plug in right now <laughs> with everything else I have plugged in. So if someone else has some candles, it's time to light them. The first words in the creation of the universe out of the unformed void and dark earth were God's, were God's, let there be light. Therein lies the hope and faith of Judaism and the obligation of our people to make the light of justice, compassion, and knowledge penetrate the darkness of our time. Baruch HaTad Onai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu Mitzvotav, Itzivanu Lahadlik Ner Shel Yom Tov. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, ruler of the universe, who has made us holy with commandments and commanded us to light the candles for the holiday. The little song about the order of the Seder. Kadesh Churchatz, Karpas Yachatz, Magid Rochza, Motzi Matza, Maror Korech, Shulchan Orech, Safun Barech, and you might have noticed that the Shulchan Orech, the meal, the festive meal, is uh, number 10 and that there are 14 steps. Tonight, we are going to skip over that step and do the rest of the steps. And then um, if you want, um, you can stay on, I suppose, to eat together. But I think we'll probably... Um, and the Zoom and we can eat in our own homes. And maybe next year we'll be able to eat all together. Um, just so you know, okay. During the meal, we have four cups of wine or grape juice to remember the four great promises of God given to Moses. I will bring you out, I will free you, I will redeem you, I will take you as my own people. With each cup, we move forward from slavery and oppression to freedom. These four promises remind us that the process of redemption is long and complex. It is not enough to be, regist to be registered, to be rescued from physical slavery. Redemption also entails relief from psychological bondage and the opportunity to live a full and rewarding spiritual life. As the Seder keeps the memory of our enslavement fresh in our hearts, we remind ourselves never to ignore the suffering of others and never to stand idly by as others are oppressed. Here's the first cup, cup of sanctification. 
Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Puri Hagathen. We praise God, ruler of everything who creates the fruit of the vine, and we lean to the left as free, relaxed people and drink the first cup or some portion thereof. One person symbolically washes their hands for everyone. I have a little hand washer and a bowl, so I will symbolically wash my hands. So we, there's no blessing for this, this washing. This is a washing just to get our hands clean. We can say, let our telling pour forth like water, strengthening spirits, refreshing souls. And here's something interesting. I have a towel from the wrong holiday. Carpas. This is where we eat the vegetable that comes out of the ground, but it's also for dipping in the salt water. Salt is unique in that it is bitter on its own, yet sweetens and brings out the taste of that to which it is added. We see these two sides of salt expressed by the Dead Sea due to its high salt, salt concentration. The Dead Sea contains no life within it, yet has an incredible capacity to heal. On its own, the Dead Sea is bitter, but when a person dips into the Dead Sea, they are sweetened. This teaches us to do our best to make meaning out of a time of suffering. At the Seder, we dip the Karpas into salt water to represent the tears of the Hebrew slaves. But the vehicle of our salvation, the Red Sea, is also salt water. Can we reframe the salt water to symbolize both our suffering and our liberation? Those who are suffering due to social distancing or as essential workers, especially healthcare workers, must trust and hope that our efforts will ultimately result in a better outcome than there would otherwise have been. Our efforts are for the salvation of one another. Baruch, Ata, Adonai, we're gonna get our, our little, our greenies. Eloheinu melech haolam pore peri ha'adama. We play, praise you, God, ruler of everything, who creates the fruit of the earth. Yachatz, we break the middle matzah. Y'all can't see this, can you? We break the middle matzah. And we hide peace for the afikomen. There you go. Now nobody look, I'm gonna hide it. over there. We break the matzah and hide. One part is the afikomen. We recognize that liberation is made by imperfect people, broken, fragmented. So don't be waiting until you're totally pure, holy, spiritually centered, and psychologically healthy to get involved in tikkun, healing, and repair of the world. It will be imperfect people, wounded healers, who do the healing as we simultaneously work on ourselves. Allah ma Allah ma nya di yakhalu yakhalu abhatana bera bera dimitraim bera bera dimitraim This is the bread of affliction which our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt Let all who are hungry come and eat let all who are in need share in our Passover. This year we celebrate here, next year in the land of Israel. Now we are still slaves. Next year may all be free. Halach Anya is the renewal of a pledge of solidarity among the Jewish people. 
solidarity, hold on, to move things around, between individual and individual, between the individual and the Jewish community as a whole. It is the proclamation that we are one people and that we are ready to help one another. Pesach night is a time of sharing. If the sense of solidarity, responsibility, unity, and readiness to share and to participate are not manifested and demonstrated, the whole Seder becomes meaningless. Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik. We pour the second cup of wine or grape juice. The Haggadah doesn't tell the story of Passover in a linear fashion. We don't hear of Moses being found by the daughter of Pharaoh. Actually, we don't hear much of Moses at all. Instead, we get an impressionistic collection of songs, images, and stories of both the exodus from Egypt and from Passover celebrations through the centuries. Some say that minimizing the role of Moses keeps us focused on the role that every member of the community has in bringing about positive change. And now it's time to sing the four questions, the fear kashes. Ma nishtana halayla hazeh mi kol halaylot mi kol halaylot shebechol halaylot anu ochlin chametzu matza chametzu matza halayla hazeh halayla hazeh Kula matza, halai lahaze, halai lahaze, kula matza. Shebechol halelot, anu ochlin sheho yerakot, sheho yerakot. Halai lahaze, halai lahaze, kula maror maror. Shebecho halelot ein hanu matbilin afilu pamechat, afilu pamechat. Halay laze, halay laze, shtefe amim. Halay laze, halay laze, shtefe amim. Shebecho halelot. Anu ochlin ben yoshvinu ven mesubin, ben yoshvinu ven mesubin. Halay laze, halay laze, kulanu mesubin. Halay laze, halay laze, kulanu mesubin. Why is this night different from all other nights? On all other nights, we eat leaven products and matzah. On this night, only matzah. <coughs> and all other nights, we eat all vegetables. And on this night, only bitter herbs, not really, especially bitter herbs. On all other nights, we don't dip our food even once. And on this night, we dip it twice. And all other nights, we sit reclining or sitting. And on this night, we only recline. I'm going to invite Michelle to share with us the four children. So thank you so much. So the tour speaks of four children, a wise one, a wicked or rebellious one, a simple one, and one who does not know enough to ask. The wise child asks, what are the laws which God has commanded us to do? Explain this all to me, and what are my responsibilities? You must teach this child the traditions of observing the holiday of Passover, but also help them to have a good time and enjoy the holiday. The wicked or rebellious child asks, 
What does this service mean to you? What is all this nonsense you are babbling about? What does it have to do with me? Because they take themselves, themselves out of the community, they miss the point. You could say, if you had been there, you would have been left behind, but that's probably not a good idea. Show them acceptance and unconditional love. The simple child asks, what is this? What's going on here? Actually, we all kind of ask this one. To this child, we answer plainly and with a strong hand, God took us out of Egypt where we were slaves. The one who does not know how to ask is silent, requiring the adults to be proactive in providing an explanation of the Seder proceedings. A big hug, something to eat, and singing is always a great start. Some say that the four children is a metaphor for the four different attitudes towards tradition, toward belonging, and toward being active or passive in the face of injustice. Some say it is about the stages of life, from childhood through adolescence and into adulthood, and potentially back again toward old age. Whatever the case, we continue to include them in our Seder, and we continue to see if any of them we see in ourselves. for people who use Zoom. The Torah also speaks of four kinds of people who use Zoom, the wise, the wicked, the simple, and the one who does not know how to mute. The wise person says, I'll handle the admin features, controls, and chat rooms, and forward the cloud recording and transcript, transcript after the call. And to this, I want to say thank you to Norma, who does this so graciously and without ever wanting to be acknowledged, but we thank you, Norma. The wise person, you should offer all the Zoom pro optional add-on plans. The wicked person says, since I have unlimited duration, I scheduled the meeting for six hours. And it says in the Haggadah, whoever prolongs the telling of the story, Hareza Mishubek is praiseworthy. And I apologize if I mispronounce the Hebrew. To the wicked person, you should say, had you been in charge, we would still be in Egypt. The simple person says, hello, am I on? I can't hear you, but I can't see you. The Jerusalem Talmud reads here, I can see you, but I can't hear you. The simple person you should say, try the call-in number instead. And the one who does not know how to mute, you should say, I know where you put the keys. I'm stuck on this silly Zoom call. To the one who does not know how to mute, you should say, why should this night be different from all other nights? Avadim ha'inu ha'inu Atav nechorin v'nechorin Avadim ha'inu ata ata v'nechorin Avadim ha'inu ata ata v'nechorin v'nechorin Ata ata v'nechorin v'nechorin We were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt and Adonai freed us from Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Adonai produced before our eyes great and awesome signs and wonders in Egypt against Pharaoh and all his household, and God freed us from there so that God could take us and give us the land that had been promised on oath to our ancestors. Enter, you are muted. Okay. I do not know. That's um, it's getting it's it's getting very um, confusing for me. Okay, Michelle, will you share with us? So, how do we get there anyway? 
certainly. So I took your ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, across the river and led them to the land of Canaan. And I increased their descendants, and I gave them Isaac, and to Isaac I gave Jacob. And when Jacob and his children went down into the went down into the Egypt, Joseph was already in Egypt. Joseph had emerged with the power over the land of Egypt. There was famine in all the lands, but in the land of Egypt there was grain. Joseph died, and all his brothers, and in all generation. A new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. He said to his people, look, the Israelite people are too numerous for us. Let us then deal shrewdly with them, lest they increase, and in the event of a war, join our enemies in fighting against us and gain ascendancy over the country. So they set taskmasters over them with forced labor, and they built garrison cities for Pharaoh, Pitom, and Ramses. The Egyptians embittered their lives with harsh labor at mortar and brick, and in all sorts of work in the fields. But the more they were oppressed, the more they increased and spread out, so that the Egyptians came to despise and fear the Israelites. So Pharaoh charged all of his people, saying, Every boy that is born shall be thrown in the Nile, but let every girl live. We cried to Adonai, the God of our ancestors, and Adonai saw our plight, our misery, and our oppression. God heard our moaning and remembered the covenant. God looked upon the Israelites, and God knew. And God said, I will go th through the land of Egypt on the night and I will met out justice against the gods of Egypt. I, Adonai, and Adonai brought us out of Egypt by a mighty hand, by an outstretched arm and awesome power, and by signs and portents, not through a messenger, not through an intermediary or any supernatural being, being sorry, but the Holy One, praised be God, Adonai alone. O oh, listen, O oh, listen, O oh, listen, King Pharaoh. O oh, listen, O oh, listen, please let my people go. They work so hard all day. They went to go and play. King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, no, I will not let them go. No, 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 I will not let them go. And I think this is a song that we might sing, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's sing it. Oh, listen. Oh, listen, oh, listen, King Pharaoh. Oh, listen, oh, listen, please let my people go. They work so hard all day. They want to go and play. King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, 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 I will not let them go. No, 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 I will not let them go. We praise God who kept faith with the people Israel. <sighs> to move, keep moving things around. Sorry, that God's promise of redemption in ancient days continues to sustain us. Our rabbis taught when the Egyptian armies were drowning in the sea, the heavenly hosts broke out in jubilant song. God silenced them, saying, My creatures are perishing and you sing praises? As we rejoice at our deliverance from slavery, we acknowledge that our freedom was hard earned. We regret that our freedom came at the cost of the Egyptians suffering, for we are all human beings made in the image of God. We pour out a drop of wine for each of the plagues as we recite them. Dom, blood. Frogs, Sardea. Lice, Kinim. Arof, Peace. Dever, Cattle disease. Boils, Shechin. Hail, 
barad. Locus, arbe. Darkness, choshech. Death of the firstborn, makat, bechorot. One morning when Pharaoh awoke in his bed, there were frogs in his bed and frogs on his head, frogs on his nose and frogs on his toes, frogs here, frogs there, frogs were jumping everywhere. Okay, I had fun finding these frogs, frog pictures here. There's, there's also a, um, a midrash, a, a rabbinical sort of embellishment that says that it wasn't um, frogs, it was one giant frog <laughs> that descended on Egypt. I like to think about that one. Uh, Michelle. Dayenu, it would have been enough. We've been singing Dayenu at Seder for a thousand years. Dayenu commemorates a long list of miraculous things that God did, any one of which would have been pretty amazing just by itself. For example, had God only taken us out of Egypt, Egypt but not punished the Egyptians? Dayenu, it would have been enough. Dayenu translated liberally means Thank you, God, for overdoing it. Dayenu is a reminder to never forget all the miracles in our lives. When we stand and wait impatiently for the next one to appear, we are missing the point of life. Instead, we can actively seek a new reason to be grateful, a reason to say, Dayenu. Unmute yourself, Cantor. Ilu hotzi hotzi anu hotzi anu mi mitzrayim hotzi anu mi mitzrayim die anu die die anu die die anu die die anu die anu die anu die anu die die anu die die anu die die anu die anu die anu Ilu natan natan lanu natan lanu et a shabbat natan lanu et a shabbat die anu die die anu die die anu die die anu die anu die anu die anu die die anu die die anu die die anu die anu die anu Ilu natan natan lanu natan lanu et a Torah natan lanu et a Torah die anu, die die anu, die die anu, die die anu, die anu, die anu, die anu, die die anu, die die anu, die die anu, die anu, die anu. The second cup, the cup of deliverance. Bechol dor vador chayav adam lir ot et atzmo ki ilu hu yatsav mimitzrayim. In every generation, everyone is obligated to see themselves as though they personally left Egypt. The Seder reminds us that it was not only our ancestors whom God redeemed, God redeemed us too along with them. That's why the Torah says, God brought us out from there in order to lead us to and give us the land promised to our ancestors. Thank you, God, for redeeming us and our ancestors from Egypt, enabling us to reach this night and eat matzah and bitter herbs. May we continue to reach future holidays in peace and happiness. We'll say together, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri Hagafen. We praise God, ruler of everything, who creates the fruit of the vine. Rabban Gamliel would say, whoever does not discuss the following three things on Passover has not fulfilled their obligation. The Passover offering, matzah, and maror. 
The Passover offering, which our ancestors ate during the time sorry, of the Holy Temple. Why did they do so? Because God passed over their homes in Egypt as it is written. You shall say, it is a Passover offering to Adonai, because God passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when God struck the Egyptians with a plague and saved our houses. It's not so that we eat. For what reason? Because the dough of our ancestors did not have time to become leavened before the Holy One, blessed be God, revealed the divine presence to them and redeemed them. As it is written, they baked matzah cakes from the dough that they had brought out of Egypt because it was not leavened, for they had been driven out of Egypt and could not delay, and they had also not prepared any provisions. This maror that we eat, for what reason? This is the wimpiest maror and the only one I can tolerate. Because the Egyptians embittered our ancestors' lives in Egypt, as it is written, they made their lives bitter, hard work, with mortar and with bricks, with all manner of work in the field, all their work which they made them serve with crushing labor. We now transition from the formal telling of the Passover story to the celebratory meal. We once again wash our hands to prepare ourselves. In Judaism, a good meal together with friends and family is itself a sacred act. So we prepare for it just as we prepared for our holiday ritual, recalling the way ancient priests once prepared for service in the temple. So I'm going to wash my hands in a traditional way and say the bracha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kiddushanu mitzvotah v'tivanu al netilat yadayim. And now it is time for everybody to find their matzah. And we're going to say mozi, but not just mozi. We say a blessing about the commandment to eat matzah. As we say the blessing for hamotzi lecha min haaretz, anytime we eat bread or matzah or anything considered to be bread. But on Passover, it is actually a mitzvah to specifically eat matzah. So that's why we say this blessing remarking on that, uh, acknowledging that, but whenever we eat matzah any other time, we actually, we don't, we don't say the blessing of al achilat matzah. So does everybody have their matzah? I don't know how I think you're all going to answer me. Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem, and we say the other blessing too. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu al achilat matzah. We praise God, ruler of everything, who made us holy through obligations, commanding us to eat matzah. Amen. Fun right. fact is after last night, you don't have to eat matzah anymore for the rest of Passover. You're not actually, mm -hmm. you're not actually, you don't have to. Now it's optional. The only day you have to eat matzah is the first night. And, and the cantor is muted, I think. Unmute yourself, Cantor. Okay. 
So um, we're going to eat our maror. Uh, some people put it on a matzah. Some people dip it in haroset um, to turn the story of our bitter history into a sweet celebration. So for the people who recognize this by dipping our bitter herbs in the sweet haroset, we will dip it in the sweet haroset. We don't totally eradicate the taste of the bitter with the taste of the sweet, but we recognize that life is filled with both. And we say a blessing for um, al achilat maror. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kiddushanu mitzvotav v'tzivanu al achilat maror. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who has made us holy with commandments and commanded us to eat maror. Michelle, will you tell us about Korach? Korach. I would be honored. So Korach is the Hillel sandwich. And it's bricks and mortar, broken matzah held together by bitter herbs and haroset. The matzah was once whole. So too, the Jewish people can become, came, can become crushed and divisive. But we are all held together by our common links to Torah and our shared historical experiences. The Talmud says that as Jews in Egypt, we were redeemed only because of our unity. We were unified in our commitment to each other and to the future of our people. Weeks later at Mount Sinai, we stood together and accepted the Torah with one heart and one mind. So we eat a matzah sandwich with haroset and maror. So now would be Shulchan Orech, the set table, the festive meal. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to skip over that. Has someone found the Afikoman? It's right where I hid it. Look at that. I found the Afikoman. See, Her Harry Himmelstein Harry found it too. Oh, good. <laughs> so eat a little piece of your off common, or you can save it until after your meal, your actual meal. And The playfulness of finding the Afi Goman reminds us that we balance our solemn memories of slavery with a joyous celebration of freedom. As we eat the Afi Goman, our last taste of matzah for the evening, I'm grateful for moments of silliness and happiness in our lives. <clears throat> now it's time to refill your glass again. And we say grace after the meal, thanking God for the food we've eaten. It's something like an extended toast to God, culminating with drinking our third glass of wine for the evening. We praise God, ruler of everything whose goodness sustains the world. You are the origin of love and compassion, the source of bread for all. As it says in the Torah, when you have eaten and are satisfied, give praise to your God who has given you this good earth. Praise God for the earth, for its sustenance. Renew our spiritual center in our time. May the source of peace grant peace to us, the Jewish people, and the entire world. We say, Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri hagaf.
Michelle, will you please share Elijah and Miriam? Certainly. Traditionally, we have a special cup reserved for Elijah, who represents the redemption of the world and the fight for justice and compassion. Tonight, we had a second cup for Miriam, Moses' sister. Miriam was a leader and a risk taker, boldly approaching Pharaoh's daughter at the river to save her baby brother. She led Jewish women in song after crossing the Red Sea and questioning the authority of her brother Moses. Our tradition tells us that because of Miriam's merits, a well, a well followed the Israelites in the desert, so they would always have enough life-giving water. When Miriam died, the well disappeared. While Elijah's cup is filled with wine, Miriam's cup is filled with water, symbolizing the prophet Miriam's connection to the rivers, seas, and well springs. So we fill Elijah's and Miriam's cups together, individually in our own houses. So we can pass around two cups, um, the water, a cup for water and a cup for wine. And we each take our, uh, our own water cup and pour it into the Miriam cup. And share something that you're thankful for for. And then we pour a little of our wine into the Elijah cup. And share something we're looking forward to or hoping for during the coming year. While the return of Elijah is left to the future and all its potential, Miriam is present with us always. She and her water is sustain us as we await Elijah. She's waiting for him too. She opens the door with us. We're gonna open the door and tell Elijah to stand back six feet. I'm not, I'm not gonna stand up and open my door. I'm, it's, it's in the other room, the door. It's, I'm just gonna pretend I opened the door, but anybody who wants to can open the door. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi, Bimhera, the Amenu, Yavo, Elenu, Himashiach Ben David, Himashiach Ben David. And if you go down a couple of lines, we'll try it's the same tune with Miriam Haneviyah, Miriam the prophet. Miriam Haneviyah, Ozvezim Rabiyada, Miriam Tir Koditanu, Lehag Dilzim Ratolam, Miriam Tir Koditanu, Leta Kenet Haolam. And now we have Chadgadia, one little goat, and we will, um, Sing together the next time we're together, which I hope will be for Passover next year, and I hope will be before Passover in general. We'll um, do this in a little bit funner way where we'll um, make all the animal sounds. So you can feel free to make all the animal sounds uh, and all the other sounds yourself and preparation for all the glorious animal sounds next year. Chad God ya, Chad God ya. My father bought for two zuzim. Chad God ya, Chad God ya. Then came the cat and ate the kid. My father brought for two zuzim. Chad God ya, Chad God ya. 
Then came the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad chad Then came the stick and beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad chad then came the fire and burned the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad gad chad gad Then came the water and quenched the fire, the fire that burnt the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad gad ya, chad gad ya. Then came the ox and drank the water, the water that quenched the fire, the fire that burnt the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad gad ya, chad gad ya. Then came the butcher and killed the ox, the ox that drank the water, the water that quenched the fire, the fire that burnt the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad gad ya, chad gad ya. Then came the angel of death and slew the butcher, the butcher that killed the ox, the ox that drank the water, the water that quenched the fire, the fire that burnt the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim chad gad ya, chad gad ya. Then came the Holy One, blessed be God, and destroyed the angel of death, the angel that slew the butcher, the butcher that killed the ox, the ox that drank the water, the water that quenched the fire, the fire that burnt the stick, the stick that beat the dog, the dog that bit the cat, the cat that ate the kid. My father bought for two zuzim. Big finish. Chad gad ya. Chad gad ya. Who knows one? I know one. One is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens ah. and the earth say, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows two? I know two. Two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows three? I know three. Three are the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows four? I know four. Four are the mamas and three are the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows five? I know five. Five are the books of the Torah. And four are the mamas and three are the papas and two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows six? I know six. Six are the books of the Mishnah, and five are the books of the Torah, and four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought, and one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ah. Who knows seven? I know seven. Seven are the days of the week, boom, boom. And six are the books of the Mishnah. And five are the books of the Torah. And four are the mamas. And three are the papas. And two are the tablets that Moshe brought. And one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows eight? I know eight. Eight are the days till Brit Mila. And seven are the days of the week, boom, boom. And six are the books of the... Mishnah, and five are the books of the Torah, and four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought, and one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. 
in the heavens and the earth saying, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows nine? I know nine. Nine are the most poor babies born, and eight are the days till Brit Mila, and seven are the days of the week, boom, boom, and six are the books of the Mishnah, and five are the books of the Torah, and four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought, and one is a sham, one is a sham, one is a sham. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows ten? I know ten. Ten are the Ten Commandments. Nine are the most of four babies born, and eight are the days till Brit Mila, and seven are the days of the week, boom, boom, and six are the books of the Mishnah, and five are the books of the Torah, and four are the Mamas, and three are the Papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought, and one is a sham, one is a sham, one is a sham. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows 11? I know 11. 11 are the stars in Joseph's dream, and 10 are the 10 commandments. 9 are the most four babies born, and 8 are the days till Brit Mila, and 7 are the days of the week, boom, boom, and 6 are the books of the Mishnah, and 5 are the books of the Torah, and 4 are the mamas, and 3 are the papas, and 2 are the tablets that Moshe brought, and 1 is Hashem, 1 is Hashem, 1 is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows 12? I know 12. 12 are the tribes of Yisrael, and 11 are the stars in Joseph's dream, and 10 are the 10 commandments. 9 are the most four babies born, and 8 are the days till Brit Mila, and 7 are the days of the week, boom, boom, and 6 are the books of the Mishnah, and 5 are the books of the Torah, and 4 are the mamas, and 3 are the papas, and 2 are the tablets that Moshe brought, and 1 is Hashem, 1 is Hashem, 1 is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh. Ooh, ah, ah. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. Who knows 13? I know 13. 13 are the attributes of Hashem, and 12 are the tribes of Yisrael, and 11 are the stars in Joseph's dream, and 10 are the 10 commandments. 9 are the most four babies born, and 8 are the days till Brit Mila, and 7 are the days of the week, boom, boom, and 6 are the books of the Mishnah, and 5 are the books of the Torah, and four are the mamas, and three are the papas, and two are the tablets that Moshe brought, and one is Hashem, one is Hashem, one is Hashem. In the heavens and the earth say, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. I think we've had our um, quota of ooh, ah, ah for the entire year. Near Tzah marks the conclusion of the Seder. Our bellies are full. We've had our four cups. Well, we've almost had our four cups. We've told stories and sung songs and appreciated this time together. And though it comes at the end of the Seder, this moment also marks a beginning. We're beginning the next season with a renewed awareness of the freedoms we enjoy and the obstacles we must still confront. We're looking forward to the time that we gather together again in person. At the end of the Seder, we honor the tradition of declaring next year in Jerusalem. The word Jerusalem means city of peace. We're truly praying that by next Passover, we will have tr transformed the world into one united city of peace. We drink the fourth cup, the cup of acceptance. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri hagaf. Next year in Jerusalem, Passover is the night for reckless dreams, for visions about what a human being can be, what society can be, what people can be, what history may become. Let us set ourselves free to dream impossible dreams of what the world can become, and we pray for the strength to fulfill them. Our Seder is over according to Jewish tradition and law, as we had the pleasure to gather for a Seder this year, we hope to once again have the opportunity in years to come. We pray that God brings health and healing to Israel and to all the people of the world, especially those impacted by natural tragedy and war. As we say, 
Lashana ba birishalaim, Lashana ba birishalaim, Shana ba birishalaim, birishalaim hamnuya. Next year in Jerusalem. Next year in Fort Bend County together, giving hugs, masked hugs. I miss you all so very much. We're having a challenging year. We're going to have another challenging year as a community, but we're all there for each other. And that's what makes us so very dear and such a special place. I'd like to thank Norma and uh, for her mistressful <laughs> uh, guiding of us this evening and Michelle for participating with your wonderful reading and everyone uh, here for coming and, and joining in this celebration of freedom. And uh, I hope to see you all again soon, if not in person, then on Zoom.